Hey, welcome back. Just out here shutting down the fan for the night. I'll just show you this guy who's reached the top of the trellis there. That's one of the sugar pumpkins. And then these are the other two. So even if you don't know much about gardening, hoop houses, trellising, vertical gardening, vertical growing, I mean, do it for fun, plant some uh, sugar pumpkins and watch them grow. <laughs> they seem to be doing better than... Uh, Better than the cucumbers for sure. Interesting, this guy down here, they send out runners, you know, so they're not supposed to trellis, but they do send out runners, which is awesome. And underneath those runners, there's a root, so after that runner, runner goes, they're rooting down and actually establishing more of a plant, more of a, a base and uh, they keep kind of spreading out there um, you know we're trying them vertically this year and uh, we'll see how it goes but tons of butternut getting bigger by the day the tomatoes as you see are about waist high this one's over waist high and we keep checking you know the back side of these flowers see if we get a a ball or a bulb get a tomato back there hopefully soon maybe we'll see some tomatoes jump over here and take you down zoo crow though because we had the initial leaf the true leaf and now we're getting the inside leaf there and these are just taken off so the roots have taken and yeah, these things are going crazy a little early yet for a flower but I don't think it'll be that far off got something in here maybe eating some holes so I'll have to keep an eye out for pests but not much is in here little gnats that I've seen We'll keep an eye out. But a lot of these zucchini plants are just killing it now. That initial leaf is uh, curling up and dying. Well, that's alright, because we're after that new leaf and it keeps coming out of the middle. And it'll keep sprouting and sprouting and sprouting until you have a bush. Then we'll get that flower and either hand pollinate. Or maybe the bees will find their way in here and uh, pollinate for us. But uh, everything's looking good. The blackberries are taking off. We're about to get some more flowers on the blackberries, which means berries. We got some starts coming. More on that later. We have some. Uh, This is the uh, lavender, yeah. So at the lavender plants I usually put here in front of the door to attract the bees coming in, to land on the lavender, and then maybe they get interested in what the rest is going on. That's got a over overlook of how things are going. Give you kind of a, you know, we're about waist high. About halfway, halfway high on the high tunnel, on the hoop house. Things are just taking off. It's been extremely hot. So right now, I mean, usually we're back down to about 60 by this time in the evening. We're still above 80. I just shut the fan off. But uh, we got more cukes and more zooks. Ready to go somewhere. If we can focus up. Some more cabbage like we did out front. The cauliflower, those cauliflower beds out front. 
and uh, weather's good. Got a little bit of wilt today. She's worried about worried about this plant, but after giving it some water, it seemed to perk up a little bit. Maybe that it's just uh, sprawling out on the ground here. I think it's setting down a root right there. I'm not going to pick up too far. I think you can see that white root at the tip of my finger. So it's going sideways and sending out a root. Let's see if this one did the same. Let's see right there at the bottom of that cluster. It's starting to branch out and send down a root. So keep that touching. So we'll send that root down. Maybe as it gets more fruit, it looks for uh, looks to send those out to gather more water and whatever to support the fruit. I'll have to look up maybe a little bit of a little bit of history or, or facts on butternut. That could be what the butternut does. Is they're hiding in there, looking good. Got a few cucumbers. We've torn quite a few cucumbers out, so we're we're looking for. You know, they get yellow, which is a sign they're either overripe or they're not getting enough, you know. So, they're pretty small. This one will probably be uh, ripped out here soon. But, uh, continue to trellis, as you see. Use them in the plastic clips and trellising them upwards. And on the tomatoes here, see we had a couple of tomato plants, you know, as we plant, we plant dual seeds, so you actually see there's two main plants here, and we had them clipped together, so might be running up a new line here soon. Um, up the trellis, have two lines, get one plant to grow off this way, and keep that one going the other way. If... Uh, if there's enough space and dirt and nutrients to support uh, both plants you see this one kind of split there's one in behind it and one there so maybe we send up another another string there for that guy and uh, they're getting thicker at the base so I'm taking off some of those clips down lower and then just moving them moving them up the way so you can repurpose those clips as you go up or uh, leave the clips and add more clips uh, we did order quite a few but uh, we'll see how it goes don't want to choke the plant out you know if the base gets real thick especially if there's two in there like that so we might be adding more strings here to kind of set the, separate the plants maybe pull them apart a little bit but as long as everything stays happy everything's producing you know no reason to cut them back tear them out uh, once we do get fruit you'll see a big difference of everything down below the plant at the bottom below the fruit will uh, be trimmed down and and uh, give all the nutrients to the fruit and then they grow higher and then you do it again when it fruits again keep going up keep going up keep going up until they're all the way to the top so we'll see how far they get see how long a growing season we got but uh, that's what I got for you tonight thanks for watching share like subscribe Leave your comments down below how you think things are going in this high tunnel hoop house, and I will see you on the next one.